Today's cold. It's a cold wind. Yeah. Very, very arctic. But it was supposed to be a snowstorm. But I didn't see it. Just a little bit of snow we got. Oh. But now it's that cool, super crispy, slushy water. Look at it. You and I should we go and take a look at the slushy water? Put it on. Oh you nay nay nay. Oh for fun at the Amazon Yak had a half of cat. out to here to pre-infuse the coffee or the pour. Oh, that's not bad. It's one of the better ones I've done. It's not so splattery. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Today is a very arctic day here on Svalbard. It's one of those days where the weather is unforgiving. It's bleak and gloomy and it's cold enough for the water closest to shore to become an icy slush. But against this harsh canvas, the sky is full of colors. Soft pink and orange hues taking over the sky slowly, painting the clouds pink along the way. I think this scene is very synonymous with Svalbard. Soft and rugged views that meet and create a beautiful picture. My name is Cecilia, by the way. If you're new here, welcome to life on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. And if you're not new here, I love you. Welcome back. I have lived here now for eight years. And as we come out of the polar night, which is the season with constant darkness, we get reintroduced to our surroundings, often in a very spectacular way, because nature, thankfully, always likes to show off. The sun has now officially made an appearance above the horizon for the first time since October last year, which means that we say goodbye to polar nights. We now enjoy about four hours of daylight and every day gets gradually longer. But we will have to wait for a week or two before we can see the sun from our cabin. Breakfast. 
list, we are gonna have, oh my gosh, fil och knäckebröd. I feel like this is such a Swedish or, you know, Scandinavian breakfast. Fil, I, bet, I mean, you can call it soured milk, because Christopher did it. Yeah, syrna mjölk, mjölk, som folk har druckit till alla tider. Och ägna sig och gott tillbakning och matlagning. Yeah, you can have this in cooking and definitely also with baking, but just to eat for breakfast is great. Cracker bread. Oh, this is gonna be so good. You just, you know, load them up with good stuff. And then for that you have, with that, you have a lovely little feel. The brekkelecki. Brekkelecki. Den tänkte att du ska få, varsågod. Sonja, tar du den med dig? Varsågod. Oh, so good. Hey, are you trying to focus? You're gonna get some of the good breakfast. Väl långa ögonfransar har också, eller ögonbryn har du fått. Gammal gubbe. It's a slow day here in our cabin. It has been a busy work week and I've spent every waking moment in front of my computer to get a project finished. It's a very fun project, which I will share more about soon, but long hours in front of my computer is always a bit draining, of course. But so for this Sunday video, we are just hanging out, taking a moment to relax and enjoy the views. It's what I can offer you this week, which I hope is okay. What? <laughs> Har du sett dem här? Ja! I got a new pair of skis. Oh, yeah, I showed it in the last video. Here they are. Beauties. I think we might have to take these for a spin soon. So we have new stavar. And then we have the husky skis. Graham, we're gonna have to do something about this. Look at this face. The difference with these is that they don't have Stålkanter, metal edges, as you can see. So they won't slice up Grim's feet. Why you have the metal edges is so you, when you go downhill, you have more of a slice. So you, you know, you have, cause you use them, you don't do a lot of downhill, but you totally can. It's more for when you, you know, up mountains, over mountains and everything. So if you have a metal edge, you get a better, if you need. I think that's how you explain it. But so, I also came to the conclusion that I've gone downhill with my skis about once and the other times I've sat on my butt. <laughs> these are not the best. But yeah, so now you know, these are gorgeous. We're gonna take them out for a spin any day. The 
forecast has been telling us about an incoming storm for days now, but it has never really arrived. We generally only take the forecast as a mere suggestion, as the weather changes so quickly. But you don't really want to head out in uncertain weather, so we had made no plans for this weekend. After having a very late breakfast, we decided to enjoy the last of the daylight and take our snowmobiles and Grimm's chariot for a little test drive. The light is so pretty in the afternoon, so we drove across the fjord to get a view of Longyearbyen. Ljuset är så fint. Look at today. The time is, what's the time? Four? So this is how much light we have at 4 p.m. Grim. And we just took our snowmobiles for a little test drive. Over to the other side of the fjord, Grim. Stop running. <laughs> He's so upset. We're going to show you his new chariot in a minute because it is... It's pretty luxurious. But so we are just enjoying this gorgeous light. Look at this. Wow. Whoa. We found a in the air. Grim is upset. He's very upset. You know, life is scary. So here is Longyearbyen. How exciting. Give it a bit Yeah, you self soothing. Slapna av at the. Slapna av. Let's go and show you Grim's new chariot. His new. I was gonna say wild ride. His new uh, luxury vehicle on the snow. Come with me. Come with me. Can you fill this up? So this is Grim's sluffe. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> It is actually a sled for children or for humans, but since Grim is getting older and you know, I don't want to put him on a sled in like a box, which is the next option. We got him one of these. Look at this. It is huge. Oi. Wow. Oi. Isn't this nice? We are also getting him one of those dog seat belts so that he's stuck to this side so he can't go forward. Today was just a kind of like small test drive to see how everything works. And we're gonna get him that. Uh, Christopher's ordered it, but it's on its way. So we might buy one when we're on the mainland. It's also heated, you know? We enjoyed watching the daylight slowly fade away over Longyearbyen before making our way home again. Next week we are traveling to the mainland to see our friends Olivia and Einar. And we finally get to meet Fenris again after not seeing him for over a year. Fenris is Grimm's brother by household who he used to live with before. They are currently on the mainland because they had a baby. We will of course be bringing you along on this trip. So don't forget to subscribe to get notifications on when I post. If you want to see more content from us, head to my Patreon, where I post coffee chats and downloadable wallpaper and lots more. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Love you. Bye.